Say Savage, stay Savage, your boy, Sino Ventro, what's poppin'? Today it's Wednesday, it's Boruto, it's out! It's here. Uh, it's been a minute since we talked about Boruto, well, not really, I talked about it the last time it dropped, you know, but it's been a minute since we talked about videos in repetition and, uh, like a consecutive flow, like, you know, I, I wasn't uploading, I, I haven't been uploading, I've been streaming, slowly, but surely, uh, it might not be the things people, most people want to see, but, you know, I am getting back in my regular flow talking about Boruto and Boruto drops. I am cooking up some other shit in the pot. Uh, don't worry, I've been talking to stats. We, we trying to get to uh, understanding. We're trying to get somewhere with this intro song and then we're trying to redefine the channel in terms of uh, content and how I wanna go about things. So, with that being said, we, today we're gonna talk about today was what happened in Boruto. It was really lit, like dog. I'm not even gonna lie, this new opening shit, it really got me in the mood for Boruto. I, it wasn't really too much of a hype song, but it was more of a chill type song. I guess I like the colors, like that's one thing they've been doing really well with the openings. They've been keeping it very colorful and vibrant, so they've been keeping my attention on it, you know. So that's one thing I've been enjoying about the openings from board. So there's something with that, you know, the color schemes. It goes back into Stormfall where they use the ultimate, and you know, you see this color scheme. I guess that was like the cameo and the hint of how like the color scheme was going to come out as the board to anime progresses. But now that we got a second opening, you know, this does this mark like the second season of Boruto, like the second real season of Boruto, because like the openings changes, like uh, because like before it really it. I don't know the Sarda thing it was just kind of eh but then like this one is like Boruto like full on it just completely changed and you got to see Boruto use lightning style on that I know I'm rambling on but we're gonna get into this more in detail in the video let's get it Whipping all this double bit of trap out We forgot you bitches at the trap out I can't trust you all can't get you real address I can't trust you all can't get you real address It don't mean that be like that I might fall in love with my trap house. So, like, first off off the back, you know, we talked about the intro a little bit in the beginning of this video. That's something I was really, like, fixated on with this episode. I think that's probably one of the most highlighted things that I enjoyed about this. That and a little bit of, I feel like, a foreshadowing in this episode. Like, there's some fore foreshadowing for the future. And a lot of it, and more so Kagura, but there's something in there that most people probably didn't pick up. And it was more so directed between Boruto and Sarada. Uh, and that's something that I want to speak on very like emotionally about towards the end of this video because like that's going to be like the thing that we honestly going to need to put the pieces together of seeing later on in the future. So uh, this is something I want to bring up and something that they put in this episode. Maybe it's just me looking at it too hard or too in detail, but like I feel like something's going to be major with what I'm going to speak on. So let's talk about my boy Kagura. You know, we got Dinky being trapped up. Kagura is, you know, bloody past. You know, obviously he's Yagura's grandson. You can see from like the tattoo, the art style, the way he's developed, the way the character is made. You know, it, it's it's him. Like you can tell like this is Yagura's like relationship family. Like, you know, you can see it. And then his name is Kagura. Like, come on, man. That's no, that's like, that, that was just simple. That was just like, you know, we just knew that. Like that was just like, all right. And then the fucked up part about it, they just gave it to us. Like they just, just were like, here you go. You know, you're just not gonna, you know, make this difficult for you to figure out. We're just gonna get us to get this one to you like you can see that he looks like Yagura like you can tell like and the one thing about me I like Yagura so you know I like the way he played in Storm 4 and shit like that you know and I got to fight with him that was one thing I liked about Yagura you know his style and the way he looked and like now we got like a, a older version of him because Yagura was kind of young you know Yagura was a kid basically being the Mizukage because if you look at Yagura and you look at Kagura Kagura looks like he's actually taller than actual Yagura I mean it might be the same height it might be the way they make the camera angles for them being PTS, I guess, or whatever. Making them look like this average type. But Kagura looks pretty tall, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, if you see him later on, if he sticks around and not get killed off like they did Yagura. Because I think a lot of people's upset that they killed off a lot of people connections to the Tell Beast. And I think what they're going to do with this new, like, generation of Naruto and Boruto and shit like that. They're going to start implementing, like, the grandchildren and, and, like, the family members of, like, the, you know, the Tell Beast. Like, each gen or if you like, you're going to see, you know, Roshi family we're gonna see uh we seen Ka uh, yagura's family you know we're gonna see uh yugito's family like, you're gonna see like the people who are in gen church you're gonna see like their family like Han and them like that's gonna be pretty dope you know because we're starting to see uh we should be getting to start with yagura and kisame because if you look at the end of the episode you see your boy he his fucking gills popped open his snake skin and, you know not snake skin his shark skin i'm chirping i'm thinking about snakes because this nigga's fake as fuck uh that run but like you know he had his shark skin out popping uh, then he slit this man's throat like so this episode has been 
really uh like comical and then serious like it got really like drastic like i didn't know how it like turned from this thing i was sitting there simply enjoying to like this fucking enraged induced psychopath that reminded me of Kisa on me and i was thinking to myself like god damn the fact that i could pick up this vibe and catch this wave link just by looking at this it goes to show like you know in the future boruto is going to have a lot of different uh attributes that's going to make it one of these great animes and just have it you know panned out where people can truly sit back and enjoy it and reminisce on how uh, you know naruto was because they're doing all this like connections between the past and stuff that's what i really like i mean i've been enjoying about boruto because you know we got the follow-up with sasuke and sakura previously now we're getting all this you know we had the we're gonna get the boruto and naruto soon i mean we already know what's gonna happen with that because that's the momoshiki obviously they gotta make that the biggest thing you know because a lot of people still haven't seen the movie i don't know why um like let me know in the comment section if you've seen the movie like that ass like comment if you've seen the boruto movie if not say no just say no don't just say you've seen it you know because there's a lot of people like talking to me about what's gonna happen and trying to tell everybody like the manga showed the movie and then it has like an, some other shit with it like you know they added their own little detailness to the movie so there's obviously it's gonna be in the TV show but it's gonna change so like the, but other than that the direction with the generation is really well put together like I'm honestly just gonna say like a plus for that uh, but I still feel like you know in ways more than others like this is gonna be like the GT of the Naruto series like I feel like this is gonna get scrapped and then considered not canon but at the same time you know we do have the creator working with the people who's making this so uh, it's just one of those situations where I don't know I, Boruto it's, it's really good it's really good but I, I i just hope they they continue on this path and not just like build up to that and then it's kind of leave it behind but so far it's kind of reminded me of naruto the way they're doing their season shits like it took a while it was like it took a, a good amount of episodes before like they even changed the opening it took 25 so like that's like that's like a, a big bulk of fan. that's a big bulk of show like, you know what i mean that's a lot of story so that's one thing that's really good that they put in and like you know they're giving us big stories and changing our openings and endings and shit like that i think that's clean i still feel as though like they should like uh wrap up the activity in terms of like him being in the academy because like they're dragging on board to be in academy like they're emphasizing on this shit so much like it, it's kind of dragging anime for me but uh i feel like once he gets out of that that's when things get better because I do know when he takes the, the tuning exams after that, things get really good. Like, looking at the opening. Let's go back to that. This man used lightning style. Like, bro, the, the lightning style is in the manga. Uh, obviously, you know, if you guys watch today's episode, you guys seen the lightning style in the fucking, like, opening. So, like, you guys know it's gonna come. So, like, you guys got that glimpse. And that's one thing, like, I'm super excited about. The fact that Boruto's been using wind style already, and he's like on like a kid's level, compared to you know Naruto being like an adult, being way further along, and not and didn't get that shit. Like Boruto has this shit like as a fucking child. Like dude, this man used wind style in today's episode when he's fighting. Uh, the gang shit then keep getting captured. You know that's something that happened, but like it's not something that really like attracted my attention for real, for real, because like the way. Uh, Boruto set up for me. It's more about seeing Boruto develop and seeing like the people that's introduced because like You know, I feel like some of this shit is just filler like, you know I'm just more interested in the backstory of the people, you know, you see Kagura's bloody past, you know You come become one of the seven swordsmen, you know, you, you, you get to see like the past and the connections between people That's something that's more interesting to me because like the villains nobody has really stood out to me to make me really like wow or i'm attracted to like in terms of like his their design you know you ever see a character you just like damn that character's cool i haven't seen a villain like that you know i still haven't seen nobody i, I think it's really like worth it like momoshiki and kinshiki like they're all right but like I, i'm still not like oh, mesmerized by that character design i mean i guess probably with the new final form if they put that in terms of like the the, the show um we, we can see it get better but overall this episode was pretty chill um i like the way everything panned out i like the way boruto is starting to set up to be like one of the major animes through uh you know like shonen um it's just got to continue to develop at a, a rapid pace i feel like right now the anime is kind of dangling because the manga is like on a whole other page and then the manga is like monthly so that's like making it not 
like good for the anime developers because they don't want to you know run into what's happening into the manga because then the, after that there's gonna be a whole bunch of filler and then you know they gotta wait and try to make it with the manga that shit's gonna be like a, it's running it's gonna run over so that's why we're getting a lot of this weird shit because uh if you guys read the manga you know you, then he never met kagura yet like that shit none of this shit is actually taking place so i don't know um it's one of those things where you gotta see how it plans out but these are just my thoughts and my opinions let me know yours in the comment section down below sorry it's been like a minute i haven't uploaded i'm getting back into the swing of things today was really weird because i'm not used to uploading and not used to talking in front of video it's been like a minute so uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a thumbs up if you guys like check out my social media see you in the uh and with that being said stay true stay true and stay real stay have a blessed day see you guys later Bye.